Hey guys, this is Jesse with Bowman Land Clearing. Uh, I'll, then here is the corner. I'll show you. Kind of goes up at an angle. It's very odd. I think I left the lights on. But I got the machine warming up. You can kind of see how the slope is. Pretty steep. Kind of goes up. So over there, I'm gonna have to go at an angle and then go up. So um, this this right here comes in to like a little triangle. Then it, a um, a cone. Then it goes up into like a like a even line. And I'll show you once it pulls up. Like this goes into a cone and it goes up and then it opens up like that it's like a flag so i'm gonna have to open it up for them to come in with a dozer and all that so that way they can come in and clean it up so that's what we got the corner mark right here so i'm going up this way and there's a bunch of rocks So, my plan is to pick some of the stuff up and throw it where I can mulch it up. This is big enough. Nice. That's what I want to see. But I'm going right in here and then I'm going to come up through there and then open it up where the, the driveway is at. And these are not good teeth, or uh, these are not good. Uh, rocks to hit for a mulcher so I'm gonna try to find most of them but what I can't find I'll just have to grind it out so yeah you can kind of see until I get up in here some of that stuff I'm gonna have to push to where I can mulch it up and get in and you can see what we got going on
so finally got up in here and then where i'm at is about past the curve it's very strange of a i'm on the inside of this little line right here and it goes into a flag kind of points everything's marked but that's where we're at in the curve and then we go straight which he's got it ribboned every so often so that way well, i'm keeping straight so there's ribbon i'm keeping the ribbons there there's one here and then there's one right up in there not sure i can't really see it on the gopro but kind of just kind of keeps going down from right here to over here so i gotta take these pines out they're not too tall but we're, we're you can tell we're kind of leaning so it's kind of hard to but raising it up then it does this to the door it does all all that junk right there all the little sap and dust and then this is one thing i hate about this mulcher it collects right here and then when you go take your attachment off and it freaking it's just it's a nightmare to get out but i took the plates off because the cat told me to and i to be honest with you it made it even worse but it made it better because when that plate if you've ever taken that plate off from mulching and then dirt and all that rock stuff it uh it packs hard down in there that way you can't get all that stuff out but frees it up a lot better I try to get all these sticks when you back drag sticks get behind the motor so i try to get them out while they're loose but i like to get out every so often to check and make sure because you may back into a a stick and it jabs it in here and you're blowing cooling everywhere especially all this right here so i get some of it off kind of help it breathe but i also get out to uh throw these chunks so that way i can stop running over it because it feels like you're uh driving on a, a stump yeah got it going um uh, i was just told to come in and make a trail and then but clean it up and he kind of wants all this cleaned up and i told him it's gonna be about two days but i think he's only wanting to pay for one so these are the pines that was right here and then soon well right, right in here they all fell that way so my thing is me and chris i tell chris to is go in and knock it down and then you can come back and stuff you can kind of tell what's laying over these little chunks come over here and pull it down throw it in a pile because it's easier that way because if you get in and out of the machine you're taking too much time just got these vines in there but yeah that's what we got um then i think i go about i think you said five or six hundred yards straight to make the the drive this is the driveway uh they're supposed to have a dozer come in which i told him that i can have an excavator in here pulling all this so that way you can get the stumps but he said the dozer guy can do that so it's up to him yeah you can see that see that stobs over there and all i'm gonna do is follow this and he just told me leaf pass and resistance so it's gonna take me a little bit but come in here because there's a fence line right over there it's the uh the other uh property line for the person over there for the neighbor but yeah the knives are doing good i'm not sure if you can tell hitting some little bit of rocks hurts my feelings these things are 1500 bucks
Well, this was my view for a solid 15 minutes. Hard to see something out of it since I got a. There you go. Since I got a hole at the bottom of mine, and then the freaking door sill pops out. Hey. But when you mulch, you know exactly the stuff that could happen. It's very hard to keep clean. I mean, I run through uh, washer fluid like crazy, and it gets expensive after after a while. So it's just hard just to go and just keep dumping money into it. Phew. Still pretty wet from that rain that we had, and we're supposed to have rain all next week. I think after today, after about six o'clock today. So I'm in Gaston at the moment. Just kind of let her soak. I mean, this stuff's like three bucks at the dollar store, so well worth it. You can go to Advanced Auto Parts and buy that visible glass, and it's uh, pretty expensive. It's probably about six bucks, and you can buy three or two of these versus the one. So, and then a microfiber, which you have to buy a lot of packs of them, and then you wash them. Just make sure you don't get grease on them, because uh, I don't learn it the hard way. Put it in your wash, or your, put it in your washer, and then it sticks to the uh, the drum. So. Nobody's happy. <clears throat> so it's almost 10, 10 or 11 o'clock. I think it's almost 10.30. So, ah, trying to get this clean the best I can very hard sometimes to keep it clean especially when you go to um to mulch a tree from the top down and that, that's where it hits it hits this bottom side and then when you back drag you can back drag too high or too forward where it slings it up so i mean this i usually never keep it this dirty but been busy but then when i'm not busy i got stuff going on so it's hard to stuff like this it feels full so i have to get something to clean it out but i got this far pushed up and then i pushed all the way up here so i'm just leaving the big stuff kind of coming back and mulching it up so we're at the i think right up in here i think i got another 15 feet and then i start pushing yeah right there this will be the top side of the flag piece. So, you know, the, the property line's like this, and it has a little piece down. And once I pass that little corner mark right there, let's see. Once I get to this corner mark, let's see. Past this, I come up through here, and then it all opens up. So then they just want me to kind of come in here and knock all this stuff down little tea tiny stuff so that way they can see their vision so we should be able hopefully we'll get we'll get to it so luckily they he came in with all kind of ribbons and marked the entrance and and then the angles and stuff so won't be long till i come up here and start opening all this up so I think it's supposed to be like three acres counting the the little trail down. So other than that, still getting a good clean clean finish. So we gotta come back, kinda get all these chunks, make it look better. So even though it's winter, stuff's dead, but Especially when you only got a stage one pump. So if you're looking for a mulcher, make sure you get it's a stage two. This is stage one. Oi. Yeah, that's rough. That is rough. It's not too bad. But yeah, stage two pump. And then the bite limiters are really, really awesome because you don't get stuff 
like this you'll get stuff stuck in here and then you, you'll see it hanging here and then it'll, it'll start smoking and it will catch stuff on fire i've done learned from experience because sometimes you'll get a piece that's just stuck right here and then then the next thing you know you'll see smoke just pouring out but i'm gonna come back kind of hit these little scragglies and i may try to go back in here and knock all these down because the way i was coming up is just stuff was crisscrossed and it was kind of hard to get in there and clean it up but i'm gonna come in here and not really sure why he had this right here maybe it was like the how to keep straight with the driveway or what he was wanting so try to keep pushing
It's a little stuffy in there. But got a bunch knocked out. I went to the the point of the of the property line that points and then it shoots down. So I got a bunch of little stuff to clean up, which kind of knocked this out a little bit. For about 30 minutes to knock it out. So <clears throat> got stuff wedged in between everything, so I gotta get it cleaned up. So teas are still doing good, but hitting those rocks starting starting to dull them down we're supposed to hit them every four hours but when you ain't got a good mulching head it's kind of hard to stop but yeah this is what they're wanting so what they're wanting to do is they want to me to open this up a little bit for them so that way they can envision of what they want and done so right there's the corner so we're going to get it all bulldozed level all the trees and they're going to have their house overhanging the the drop probably about right in here i think this is where they want put one of the corners or something like that or the center so i don't think they're fully on what they're wanting to do but i'm going to get this pulled out and then I got a few more hours. They just want me to spend a day just kind of knocking stuff down to see what they can uh, envision. So rest is on the other guy. I told him that I could uh, come in with a excavator and then mulch everything up and dig up all the trees they want to get rid of. We can haul them off, whatever they want to do. But pretty sure they're dead set on the, the dozer coming in. Well, getting close to narrowing down of what they want to do. These little, I man, get this little stuff like this right here. I mean, they'll literally break off. The one that bees out right there, the base, they take me too long to try to mulch it up. So uh, I just kind of knocked everything down and then mulched it up best I could. And then once I get this done, then I'm going to fine tune down the driveway so once I start heading back then you know I've got some stuff that's just kind of scattered here and there that way I can uh, fine tune it to where it look good because I told him I didn't want to leave you know make me a trail all the way down there and start mulching that corner thinking I can get all this so this is where their house is going. They said this is this is where they want to start. All right. <clears throat> Walter's making an odd noise. Check that out later, so you can see pretty much what I got done. The rest of that is all wavy, and it's straight down. So Dozer can do that. <clears throat> nice 
so I pretty much made it wavy, but or curvy, but I stayed in the marks. That way I can make my way up. So that way they can uh, get a dozer in here to make a new driveway. few chunks they're pretty much gonna have to clear all this anyway so they'll burn it looking good all right so now it's starting to rain or it's starting to sprinkle so luckily i made it down <clears throat> I mean, you can see how not sure it really shows it but you've seen the top up there i ain't really going back up it was pretty much clean as it is but i just couldn't mulch because it kept sliding i mean it's pretty much like this and all that there's stumps and everything so kind of go up a little bit So once that dozer comes back in, so they told me that they were going to have the dozer come in and push everything over. Look at that. Mm. So there's the entrance. Some chunks in there, but they said they ain't worried about that. They got a tractor that could rake all this up. So it's pretty much the start. This is all I could do. Just knock it down and then the dozer comes in and does all the pushing and the grading but let me get down here and put this on the trailer before somebody smacks into it <laughs> 